Hey everyone, my name is Forrest from Rocky Mountain School of Photography and today we are gonna take a look at my small YouTube vlogging kit. Now, a lot of you might think that you need to use a big DSLR or mirrorless camera to do good vlogging and you need a big microphone like a Rode VideoMic Pro and all this gear to have a YouTube channel. Um, and that's not super true. I have a little case right here. This is a GoPro Casey and inside of it I have audio, video, lighting, support, all of the things that I need to make YouTube videos on my smaller sub channel called Fofo Astro. If you haven't checked out Fofo Astro and you have any interest in astrophotography, definitely check that out. Most of the videos over on that channel were filmed with this kit. Some of them were filmed with earlier versions. Don't judge the video quality too hard. Uh, but I wanna take a look today on this RMSP video at this kit, what's inside of it, and kind of show those of you who have maybe thought about using an action camera for creating a YouTube channel, some tips and tricks and things that you might wanna to add to your kit to make that process a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and dive in. To look at this, we're actually gonna pop over to our overhead rig and take a look on top, because I wanna be able to open these different things and show you the different elements inside. So let's go ahead and hop over there. All right, so my kit starts with a GoPro Casey, and actually this is one of the only GoPro elements in this entire kit, uh, but I really like the GoPro cases. They're very well made, um, they have really great dividers on the inside, and I find them really useful for grouping together small parts. Um, you can use whatever case you want, but I do think the GoPro Casey offers a really good value um, and is really high quality for the price. So once we open this up, we unzip it here. Basically, we've got the top half of the case and the bottom half of the case. And what I wanna start with is actually the bottom half, the stuff down here. So let's break this down a little bit. You'll notice right on top I have a dead cat or a windscreen, dead kitten, because it's kind of small, right? This thing is extremely useful, and I would call this a must-have for a vlogging rig. Um, without this, if you're in any sort of wind, you're gonna hear the wind noise a ton, and it's gonna give that like noise in your audio. So having a little windscreen is really important. Um, on the topic of audio, my go-to microphone for all of my videos is the Rode Video Micro. And I should take a second and say that everything in this kit is linked in the description down below. They are affiliate links, so I get a small kickback when you purchase those things, uh, but that really helps support our channel. So I would appreciate if you want to buy any of these, check out the links down in the description. So here's the Rode Video Micro, and this is a fantastic little microphone. It doesn't require power. Um, so you actually can, it powers itself off of the uh, microphone jack on the camera, which means you don't have to worry about batteries, anything like that. And it comes with its own shock mount. So the, the microphone just slides into that shock mount. I actually have a review on this microphone. Uh, if you want to learn more about it on our channel, just search for the Rode Video Micro. And then I've got the little cable that it comes with. And then for me, I have a little audio adapter that converts the small eighth inch uh, plug that the microphone has naturally into USB type C that I can use on my Insta360 camera. We'll get to that in a second. So basically all of this stuff, the dead cat, the microphone, the mount, the wire, all is actually uh, in included together with the microphone. So this is about 50 bucks and it really will improve your audio quality tremendously. So that's the audio section. So I'm gonna put this stuff aside here. All right, that brings us to the camera. Now, I am a huge fan, if you've checked out my reviews, you'll know, um, of the GoPro Hero 9. I think it's an amazing camera. I think the Hero 8 is a great camera. The Hero 7 is a great camera. Really, if you have a GoPro, that's awesome. Me, personally, though, I am actually more a fan of the Insta360 cameras. So this is the Insta360 1R with the one-inch sensor mod. So basically, Insta360 is a modular camera, and you should check out our video to learn more if you don't know much about about this. But basically you can put different cameras, lens combinations with different battery combinations. It's a modular type camera. And the really uh, kind of distinguishing characteristic about this one is that the sensor in this camera is very big. Now you'll notice the camera's big too. You see how that lens protrudes out there on the front? It's definitely not as compact as a GoPro, uh, but the image quality of the Insta360 ONE-R with the one inch sensor mod beats uh, the GoPro Hero 9 in pretty much every instance, specifically low light, and I'm an astrophotographer, so for me, I don't use this for astrophotography, I use it for astrophotography videos, but for me, having that large sensor makes a huge difference. Again, it doesn't really matter what camera you have. The problem with action cameras, let me pop this out, is that they inherently don't have many mounting options. You can see this camera is very devoid of any way to attach things to it. So whether it's a GoPro or an Insta360, 
360 camera, I highly recommend getting a cage for your camera. This is the small rig cage specifically for the Insta360 ONE R. And what happens is we basically slide the camera into this cage, we close the little door, and now all of a sudden we've got quarter 20 mounting threads on the bottom for a tripod. We've got little mounting ears that we could use for like traditional GoPro or action camera mounts. We've got cold shoes on the top and the side. We've got quarter 20 threads. Basically it gives you a ton of mounting options. It also protects the camera. So I really like these cages and I think if you're gonna use this as a YouTubing camera, having that extra accessory attachability makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna throw that back in there. So that's the main camera, all right? Now, moving along, we've got an extra battery, pretty self-explanatory, GoPro or Insta360, get yourself some batteries. Uh, they don't last very long on action cameras. Now that all brings us down to the tripod. Now this is one of those areas where I splurged and I actually splurged because um, this company, Obin, is a sponsor of the of RMSP. So I was actually sent this for free. Um, this is not telling you that you should buy this one, but having a small tripod is really important in this kit. And I, I've really spent a lot of time going between um, chest mounts and head mounts and mouth mounts and all the different types of GoPro action camera mounts. And I just, for what I do for YouTube and for doing things like that, nothing really beats a traditional photographer's tripod. So for me, this was the winner. It's a bonus that it fits inside this little case. This is the Obin CTT 1000. Now this is about a hundred dollar tripod, which I will agree is exceptionally overpriced for what you get. But if you go on Amazon and you do a search for a small little little tripod and measure it out so it fits inside your casey or whatever case you've got, this is an important thing. Now this is an exceptionally nice one. It's got twist lock legs that will extend. They don't extend, you know, it's kind of laughably far. It gets you up a couple feet, um, not really far, but it extends with these little side parts. So it'll actually go flat for macro photography. It's actually a really fully featured tripod, which I really like. Now, the cool thing about this is on top of the tripod is a quarter 20 thread. So what I can actually do is just take my GoPro in its uh, small rig cage and directly attach it to this tripod. All right, and again, this isn't unique to this tripod. This is what I do. And now I've got a handle for my vlog, right? So I can point that at myself. I can walk around, I can vlog with it. If I need a little bit of extension, I can just extend these tripod legs and I can do what I need to do. Now it's locked forward right now. It's always pointing forward and that's limiting a lot of times. So when I'm vlogging, I do that. But if I'm gonna shoot some B-roll, what I can do is over here, I've got the, the ball head, excuse the noise. And this ball head actually comes included with this tripod. All right, we can loosen it up a little bit like that. I can put the ball head on top here. And then you'll notice in this same section, I've got a little Allen wrench and a little plate. This is just an Arca Swiss plate because that's an Arca Swiss head. And I can mount this plate to the bottom of my Insta360. And then I can use the ball head to give me directional control and point around for time lapses and things like that. So for me, I usually leave the ball head off when I'm vlogging just because it's more compact. It's easy to set up. You guys got to think about the setup time here, right? You got your whole kit put away and you want to do a vlog. It's really easy to just take the camera, screw it on top of the tripod and get going. And that's, that's really one of the goals with this kit. But I also have the ball head, the plate, and the Allen wrench in there four times where I want to get B-roll or I want to shoot a time lapse, something like that. All right, so now that we've taken a look at the bottom half of the kit, let's go ahead and take a look at the top half of the kit. One of the things I really like about the Casey is that half of the storage is actually dedicated to this top pocket, and they include this really nice bag up here that fits perfectly into that flap. So let me pull the case aside and we'll get into this. Also, one quick note before I fully hide the case, um, all of these dividers here are included with the Casey, and there's actually, I think it includes five of these small dividers. So you can build out this kit however you want. Obviously, this whole upper section for me is all dedicated to tripod space because that's what I've deemed to be one of the most important parts of this kit. All right, so what is in the bottom half or the top half here? Let's go ahead and open this up. There's two main elements in this part of the kit. The first is a light. This is from the brand called Neewer. I think they're mostly sold on Amazon. Um, again, links in the description. This little Neewer light mounts via a cold shoe or quarter 20, which means I can thread it onto my tripod 
and actually use it that way if I'm trying to put the light over in a corner and I need to prop it up. But usually I'm using it more vlog style and because it's got that cold shoe mount, I can actually mount it to the cold shoe of my small rig cage, just like that. And now I've got a little light perma mounted to my camera. Now usually it actually goes over here on the side because my Rode microphone is mounted to the top. So, you know, you kind of like rig this thing out and you got all your attachments and things like that. But having a light is really important. This newer one, it's nothing to write home about. It's really affordable, which is great. And it's actually fairly bright. Let me turn it on here so you guys can see. It's got adjustable brightness levels. And then you can also take on and off this little plastic cover to change it out to like an amber colored one um, or orange, or it comes with different colored gels, you could say to gel out the light. So rechargeable battery built in, kind of sweet. I like that little light, it works well for my purposes. The other major thing in here is a USB power bank. And this is probably the most important part of this whole kit because little action camera batteries do not last long. Now this is an old anchor one. It's got scratches on it. It's been my workhorse for years, but all it's got is just one standard USB port. It charges via micro USB. You get newer ones that charge via USB-C and have power delivery and all the new stuff. But here's what I use this for. It's really one thing. I plug this in to the action camera when I'm doing time lapses. I really, with, with astrophotography, I'm usually doing time lapses when I'm building something or when I'm tinkering with something. So I need my time lapse to run for an hour, sometimes two hours, sometimes more. And this little guy will actually power this action camera in real time for a one day about long time lapse. If you started at 9 a.m. in the morning, this will power it until about 5 p.m. that day. And that's been plenty for me. And then I don't have to worry about changing batteries and remembering to restart it. You just plug it in via USB-C and you're good to go. Now, unfortunately, this plugs in via USB-C, so you actually can't charge the camera while the microphone is plugged in because the microphone is also USB type C. So that's something to think about there. Apologies on the focus uh, popping in and out. I know that's kind of annoying. Um, USB-C, uh, you can only do either the microphone or the USB power bank. But luckily for me, time lapses, I'm not usually needing to record audio. In fact, I never need to record audio. So that's awesome. All right, inside this little bag, there is another bag, which I love, Go GoPro and all their compartments. And in here, I just have some cables. So I have USB to USB-C, uh, USB-A to USB-C, USB-A to micro USB, basically all the little cables and connectors that I need to charge everything and to run the GoPro off of the power bank during the day. And that's really what this whole top is. So the top is basically your power bank and your light. And for me, this kit works perfectly. <sighs> there you go, that's my little kit. So hopefully you guys got a good idea of what I have in there. Again, that thing is literally on like iteration 40. I have been trying to pare down and figure out what I want and what do I use and what do I not use and what's just extra space for literally probably over a year now to get the perfect kit for how I create and work with videos. Definitely, it's not gonna work for everyone, but for me doing a kind of a talking head YouTube channel where I'm teaching people about things uh, and recording time lapses of me building things, that kit has been perfect. So links again down the description to all of those things. Again, like I said in the video, there are some things in there that I picked more expensive options and there are definitely more budget versions of those. I have reviews of a lot of that equipment on our YouTube channel, like the microphone, the camera, those different things. So definitely check those out if you're looking to learn more about those. Um, and yeah, I hope that was informative to those of you who have an action camera. You've thought about maybe getting into YouTube, some really good ideas on how to do that. If that interests you, let me know in the comments down below what questions you have. Maybe you have questions on how to set up the camera for those purposes. Uh, maybe you have questions on how to grow a YouTube channel, whatever it happens to be. Let me know down in the comments and I will answer them or even make a video on those things if I see common themes being asked by a lot of you. Anyway, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. it helps the channel grow. Lastly, hit subscribe down there or up there to stay up to date with our future videos. And I will catch you all in the next one. Happy shooting, whether it's photo, video, or whatever you're doing. I hope you have fun. Have a great day.